Hello! Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel. For those who don't know, I'm Ian. Anyone new who's joining? I'm Chris. We occasionally make TikToks. Oh yeah. That's where you might know us from. You should check them out. And you should also subscribe to this channel, especially if you know us from TikTok, because yeah. this is where you'll see us for even longer periods of time, you know what I mean? Yeah. That sounds like a fun time to me. And if you like what we're doing, just let us know. Press all of the buttons. All the buttons. Except for the dislike one. Hell no. For this week's video, I decided to ask you all some questions because I feel like we answer a lot of your questions maybe privately through DM or something like that. So I was like, why don't I just answer some of the ones... <sighs> okay, yeah, there you go. Why don't I just answer some of the ones that we get asked a lot or the new ones that we get asked for all to learn about us. Some intense ones, some funny ones, some tragic ones. I don't know. I guess we'll see what's in here. We'll start off light. Okay. If you had to dye your hair any color, what would you go with? Well, I have dyed my hair green and when what? it- What? Yeah, I dyed my hair green when I was in middle school. Oh. It was like turning orange because I wasn't recoloring it what it needed to be, like to actually get it the green pigment. So it was like orange with roots and it was so bad. And oh. I had to like cut it off to just get back Cause to you it. had to like bleach it first? Yeah, yeah. It was like, you know, color in a box. Yeah. But if I had to do another color, I mean, everyone's doing the like white, like blonde moment, you know, that's like slightly gray lavender. I think if anything, I would just cut all my hair off. That's oh, what I would do. You'd go bald. Yeah, I'd go bald. Well, we do have a filter for that. Yeah, what about you? Well, I had a similar story when I was in like, eighth group. <sighs> Sorry. You gotta get me with the first three words. <laughs> when I was in eighth grade, I also dyed my hair a little streak of blue and it didn't really work out that well because it, it, once it it's washed funny, out said, like, and it was like the it, first it, three it, words, but then you just, he went with volume. <laughs> hair blue bad. Hair blue bad. Oh, okay. That, now I have questions. It's also from Why your hair blue bad? <laughs> it washed out very quickly and then I just had an orange patch. Yeah, see. In my hair. And I tried to dye my hair blonde once. It just became orange. It, it took like four hours to just get it back to my original color. Got it. But I have professionally gotten it blonde done before, and I really liked that. So I might do that again, but my hair is so dark, I can only really do it for like a short period of time. Okay. How do you deal with relationship lows? I avoid them at all costs. <laughs> yeah. Final answer. No, that's half true. I will say, I think both of us have gotten much better at squashing things in the moment mm -hmm. instead of letting them go on too long. Yeah. When anything starts to go wrong, I'm like, oh, no, no, this isn't, like, I, I literally want to avoid it and, like, deny it from happening because everything's supposed to be happy, go lucky, jolly, but it's easier for me to help someone else with their problems, but I can't have problems. I like, I get, I get so uncompassionate with myself. Yeah, I think I can also just get very like down on myself of like, why am I having these issues if I know logistically how one should not have these issues? Everything I believe like ties back to childhood and we all grew up in different ways and the way you grew up in your family was different than the way that I grew up in mine. So mm -hmm. we grew up in different ways of communication and naturally I think that's gonna cause like a bunch of rifts. But you have to know that relationship lows will come if you're gonna have any relationship highs whatsoever. And that's a really tough thing to initially get through because after the honeymoon phase, when maybe your first lows start to happen, it's like, oh, we must be having issues, maybe this isn't right. But I think that actually means that if you're able to get through those, then it's it's really just, you're becoming even more right for each other. Problems this... happen, it's how you handle them. And what is the gift that's being afforded you in the moment? What's right. something you're learning? And therapy for both of us, now that we're both in therapy, oh, has, yeah. has helped immensely. Yeah. This is an interesting question. What would you like the other to experience? Huh. What would I wish for you, an experience? Oh, I would wish for you uh, to have a Broadway experience, to be yeah. on Broadway. That's what I was thinking in yeah. my head. What would I like you to experience? Yeah. Just gotta be like one thing. Yeah, well, I mean, I would say like, I would want you to experience getting a TV role or something like that. I like that. Many how did you guys meet questions. You all know where to go for that. Yeah. 
Come on. What is your favorite thing the other one does? Mine is just when you're like randomly goofy with me or will like give me a, a sassy answer, but out of nowhere. Or yeah, if yeah, I'm yeah. telling you something and you're like, stop, I don't care. And then I know you're in that goofy mood. I love that. Playful, playful. Yes, playful. My favorite thing that you do <laughs> is sing. Oh, okay. I love when he sings. Do you guys have a social a plan or a social media plan for if you ever broke up? I mean, first of all, no. There's no plan that we have. No, but that's a good question. I think it would involve like a press release and like... A farewell tour? Well, not even a farewell tour, but just like a press conference and we would gather all of our friends and... For sure. Countrymen and countrywomen. I'd, I'd, I'd be a video. Yeah, I mean, I feel like every- It's coming soon. <laughs> Ow! Oh! Oh, God! I didn't mean to. Oh, God! I got so triggered. That's what you get. So that's why we gathered you here today. We were hoping someone asked that question. I don't know. I can't- I can't anticipate. I didn't grab you in the first three words. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Would be fine! Would be fine. Everyone would be okay. Yeah. Including us at the end of the day. We have both been through hard things in our life before and we're sitting here today okay. So that means if there are hard things ahead in a few months after those, we'll be fine. This too shall pass. It's just what I was thinking. Who is most likely to propose? I don't know. I don't think the responsibility would fall on either one of us. I feel like it would be whoever is plans it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That stresses me out though, so. If down the line it were to happen, I don't think it's like, I'm not expecting it, and I don't think you're expecting it from me either. Totally. You no, know? No, for sure. For sure. Uh, yeah. I agree with all that. Okay. Yeah. You have your little smirk on your face, which means like something's, something's a churning up there. Oh God. No, no. I'm just mm -hmm. thinking how awkward this is as a breakup video to still be talking right. about how we would propose. You know, there is always a little bit of truth in joke and you've brought this joke up quite often. Oh, well, you like rehearse it. You're like, yeah, yeah, joke, joke, joke. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And so if it ever did happen, you're slightly more prepared yeah. emotionally. I know. I agree. Yeah. I prepare, you, even I prepare if you myself every night. Hey, what are you doing? I'm just listening to music. Did you pretend you broke up before you started doing that? Yeah. Do you guys ever want to settle down and have kids? I am not prepared to have kids for a while. What's first is a dog. The dog talk has been had. We're hoping that is something that can come into our Yeah, lives. we just put our, our names down to, to foster, to at least do like a test drive mm -hmm. and just see like how that affects our day-to-day -day life. So after that, I think we'll get a better idea. Obviously, like so many friends have said like, you know, when you foster, you kind of build a bond and then like yeah. maybe you can just hold I'm, on which to- Which I'm sure like- Yeah, like so, you know, every decision I've ever made, I've never planned. It's been like, oh, I think that like years before or very randomly, like there's this like rocket of desire that I have and it like goes away and I don't think about it. And then when I need to make a decision, I make it. Thinking too far ahead is just gonna mumble jumble my vibe because that's gonna create too much anxiety over something that I'm not even thinking about yet. Mm -hmm. That's a good rule of thumb. Be where you are, present. In regards to like being sad about leaving a foster dog or something like that. Oh. Or honestly, going back to the breakup thing, if that were to happen too, my therapist and I talked about how like I have a hard time with loss, but being very sad and having a lot of emotion over loss is really one of the strongest forms of gratitude because it just shows how much you appreciated the thing that you are moving that on happened. from. So like if we're sad about the dog, it just means we loved the dog quite a lot. Yeah, and that's it. I'm not gonna go in more about that. Okay. Have you ever worked retail or fast food? Yes, my first job was at a Hollister at Sunset Mall in Miami mm. because it was the only one close slash that you could work at like 15 years old or 16 years old or something like that. I think it was 15. And then after that, like a year or two in, I transferred over to Abercrombie, I mean Aventura, and then I did Abercrombie Fifth Avenue when I was in college. 
which was like fast, fast pace. Really, yeah. really, it made really good friends there, had a lot of fun. My only fast food experience, I worked as a Starbucks barista one summer after freshman year of college. And this wasn't fast food, but I was a bus boy at a restaurant, which that felt like very oh. bottom of the food chain vibes. And I worked there for like, you know, six or seven months because that was while I was still in Florida, right before I left. And then retail, I've never worked clothing retail. Mm. It's usually the easiest thing for, for some people to do, but it can also be like kind of so soul sucking ish. Right. It just depends like where you are and the Karens you're dealing with. But overall, I had a really good time yeah. at all, all the places I, I worked at. Because I was just so excited to be making my own money. For me, that was the biggest thing. It was it was like, this thing is going to help me be independent. So I don't have to ask my mom, my dad, anyone for anything. And so that I can be a self-sufficient human. And, and so like going to work and doing that to allow me to live the way I wanted to. And to be able to spend money the way I wanted to was like really, really empowering. Yeah. I actually, I got a, hired at Banana Republic, but my treatment center didn't let me take that job, which is a story I could get into later. Oh, right. I did get rejected from the container store. So oh. tried to work retail. They gave me that an interview. That would have been so great if you worked there. Well, they gave me an interview and then ghosted me. So I guess I didn't interview well. so much that you would have been able to apply to who you are today. Organizing and such. Okay. Lastly, who's the bottom? That I want you- an, Is that a question? Yeah. I want you to direct me to a straight couple who receives that question. And then maybe we'll answer something like that. Because I think it's only the gays getting this. And we need to either stop asking that question or ask everyone that question. I think it should be the first. We love you. Here, here. Remember to, I don't know, subscribe? Oh yeah, if you liked what you saw, Great. Yeah. Like it, subscribe, tell your friends, share with people. Check out our channel, watch some more of our videos. Yeah. And see for if anyone you like us. Who was asking about how we met, we'll put that on if you stay tuned for the playlist coming yeah. next. It's our very first video. Or if you clicked out because we started talking out of this outro and it's turned into a 20 minute. Remember to focus on your blooming. Bye. YouTube is hard. We'll start. <laughs> oh God. If anyone's wondering why oh. I'm dressed like I am, I just had a tennis lesson. Mm -hmm. We're really getting some rapid fire questions here today. Um, I'm gonna sneeze. Look up. Like you tilt your head back. Oh. <laughs> yeah! Bless you. Oh, hey, so hey, oppa. Germs, germs, germs everywhere. I They're on the camera, you just can't see them. Yeah, let us know if you like uh, what we're doing.